We'll take a look at the last two tools on this toolbox. First one is chamfer edges. And this works in almost identical manner to the standard 2D chamfer. And in fact, the fillet edges tool we just looked at. Let's use this one. I've selected tangent edges on this one and simply select the edge and data point and you have a chamfered edge. Same thing with this, chamfered edges. So very, very straightforward tool. You can set different distances for the chamfer, again, as you can do with the 2D tool. So try that for yourself too. That takes care of that tool, it's so simple. Now I'm going to go to the last tool here, which is called Edit Primitive. And as the name implies, we need a primitive to work on. So I'm going to go to my slab here. So the slab itself is a primitive, but just ignore the line. So let's use this tool. And there's nothing in the tool settings window right now. If I select the slab and data point to accept it, then this little dialog box shows up. What it's giving me are the dimensional values for this particular slab. And all I have to do is edit any of these dimensions to edit the shape of this slab. And that's all this tool does. It just pops up the dimensions for a primitive only. It doesn't work on primitives which have been edited at all and just allows you to change its values. OK, that takes care of all of the tools on this toolbox. And the next thing we need to do is look at some exercises for you.